I don't, I find that a lot of people don't realize that you do not have to create a Gmail account to have a Google account. Mm. And um, I, I feel like, you know, most people go and create a Gmail account for their business to open any Google tool. Sure. And you really don't have to do that. Um, it's really interesting because um, it's hard to do this without it being, but I got to go to the incognito window. And, um, you know, when we want to create a Google account, you will find, ah, I'm trying to share my screen. There we go. Okay, so here we are. So we go to sign in. And when you do sign in right there, there's create account. Um, so when you do um, for work or my business, professional emails such as, you know, it's trying to do this or get a Gmail address, right? And we ran into that. Um, and so when you do your create accounts, you have to do for personal use and put your your name in. And then next. And we put in our information. None of this is real, everybody. <laughs> I'm definitely not a January. I'm I'm totally a May baby. Um, <laughs> use your existing email. So not until you get to that third screen does it give that to you, and then you can put it in. I I love this. I can't get over how many people don't know this, and how many people start by creating a Gmail, and then the reason I think it's important is because sometimes those Gmails don't get monitored, and so. When you create a Gmail account that you're really not going to use because it's not tied to your business, then you don't monitor that account. And we had something happen with a client where messages that they signed up for something with were going to that Gmail and mm. they weren't monitoring it and they lost something. <laughs> mm. We won't say what or who, but, you know, so it's always really important to create a uh, Google business um, you can use your email of your business to create a Google account so you can tie it to your Google tools. And I think that's really important also, especially if anyone has employees, because someone leaves, I can't always get a hold of them and they created a Gmail. But if they leave and I have control over the company's website, domain and email addresses, then I can always find a way to reset a password. <laughs> yeah, a lot more accessibility uh this way it's getting locked out of things <laughs> locked out of things yeah <laughs>